This is the first install of our transfer switch. Come over here and turn this wheel. There. So you got main 200 amp breaker service with backup, not backup, but a PV system, so solar power, solar panel sets back fed through the panel. So you're gonna install a transfer switch from the house when we have power outages. So step one is gonna be able to get your box mounted up. So I'm gonna end up using this bottom inlet on my knockout. So like right there, or even my transfer switch actually goes. So make sure that lines up again. All right, I actually gotta slide over just a little bit. So right there. Yeah, that lines up perfectly. Perfect. So that's not it. Next, we're going to make like a diagram. Let's see if you can see this. Of what everything I want to hook up. So 1 through 10, what they are, and what number it is. So I'm actually going to get some piece of tape and actually write on each breaker, A, B, C, D, E, F, et cetera. And so I haven't caught y'all up in a while. I actually had to go and relabel everything in this panel because a lot of this stuff wasn't actually what it meant. So I got two pages. Oh, it flips. Two pages worth of relabeling what actually is breakers. Like all these don't even have labels on the main breaker. Like even more stuff down there. Nothing's actually labeled. So I went, took a couple hours to switch every breaker off and figure out what each breaker goes to in the house, even like the outlets and everything. So now that's done, now let's actually start start wiring stuff up. I went in and labeled each breaker I'm gonna be putting into the transfer switch and the corresponding letter that goes with the transfer switch. Cause once you take this panel cover off, you wanna actually see the number. So you put a piece of tape on the breaker itself, it's easier to remember what actually each breaker goes to. Now I'm gonna take this panel off. First turn main breaker off. I turn the whole house and then turn off my solar panels so I won't bag feed the system. Take the cover off. All right, that's out the way. This is our main breaker. So big stuff like that is the AC and then the stove. The rest of you are just regular outlets, and then that's my the bottom uh, solar panels. So cool. Not sure what the heck that goes to. Before you touch anything, let's make sure that the breakers are actually off. So. Well, these will still have power. Let's see. So make sure not to touch these. That's the line coming into the house. So it'll always have power. So those are my lines coming in, but another of these should have power. I'm just gonna go through and test every single one of them, make sure nothing has power. Alright, cool. So all those are good. With our plug, our knockout lines up with that hole. So go ahead and knock these first two plugs out and get our knockout. It's knocked out, just get a little hammer and tap it on out. Make sure you don't hit any of your wires. I do not think that'd be the size, let's see. So I might have to knock out one more ring, maybe two. 
So there's multiple rings in here to knock out. Try to feed these wires through. Well, I'm making too much of a mess with the existing wiring already in here. I forgot to mention, I should put this ring on there first. All right, uh, it's tight. So, get y'all close so y'all can see what's going on. So, it's just like a little locking nut that goes on. So, now it's tight on both sides. And now it's starting to start wiring up. My whole room. So, here we go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and ground it. So, ground and neutral. So, wire up to some open ports on my grounding bars. Let's see. I'm trying to make it as neat as possible. Be careful not to hit those also. Because those will do some damage. A pull test. Make sure it's nice and tight. And do the same thing for the next one. So go down, find another open grounding. I don't want to cut the wires because if I sell it again, it makes it more valuable than just cutting the wires. Or if I move to another house, I can take this back with me and move it to my next house. I don't plan to stay in this house forever. So I'm not going to cut the wires, but still trying to make it as neat as possible. So do my tug test. Everything looks good on that. Ow, dang it. All right, cool. So we pull our first wire out, which is our J wire. Ah, oops, not drop out. So pull our first wire out, so J wire. So in this breaker, J wire, black goes black. And twist that up nice and tight. Then get a wire nut. and put those together. Make sure it's good. Do a pull test. Everything looks good. We're gonna take this one and insert it where we took the original black wire out. All right, I'm gonna back that screw out some more. All right, I'm gonna tighten up this wire. This is the red wire, it's the new wire coming from the transfer switch. And do the pull test, and that's good. So we got our OG blacks tied together. I'm gonna tuck those out of the way. And we got a new red wire. And then we go to D. So you find the wire that says D. That's B, E, I, D. So you got one black D. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got D. All right, just make sure you have it. So D, I'm not sure if y'all can see on here. So that says D on that side. And that also has the letter D on it. So same process. Take our original wire out. And you're gonna wire net our blacks together. And then put our D inside the new breaker. Well, put our new wire inside the breaker. All right, pull test, pull test, everything tight. Now just tuck those out of the way. Then go up to C and then et cetera. And I catch back up with y'all once I got the rest of these put in.
So I'm not sure what happened in this part of the video. Mic didn't work for some point, so I did a voiceover what I'm talking about. So I got everything all put back together, labeled up. So I just put the panel back on. It's pretty easy to put the panel back on. It's just six bolts. Line everything up, put the bolts in one by one. Pretty simple for that. And then there's the real test. I turned the main power back on. Nothing blew up. So we're looking really good right now. So I went and turned on each breaker one by one. Let's pick y'all back up where I left off last night. I realized that I got done wiring everything. And my generator only is a 120, no 240 output. So I had to get an adapter from a three plug to a four plug. So from a L5 to a L14, so it's a four plug, which is 240 volts to match the core I already had. So now it's time to start this up, let it run for a minute, and then we go ahead and plug the cord in and get it working. Alright, so now that we had a generator running for a little bit, we got it warmed up. Go ahead and plug our cord in to the generator. Let's unplug it downstairs and we go downstairs and plug it in and switch over to outlets. Alright, so now we got a generator running back downstairs. And remember, turn off solo first. So we're gonna come in this panel and tell our turn our solar power off. And that's that. And then we could go ahead and plug our cord in. Alright, so now I got that plugged in. And now I can switch off. Let's say basement lights which is 13 which is number B so I can switch that off my basement light shut off if I hit generator they come back on so I'm going to flip everything over to generator power and test to see if the whole house will be powered by generator Alright, so now the whole house is on generator power. It's been a couple months since I actually installed the transfer switch. It's been running no problem. I was actually editing the video and forgot. I never filmed the outro, so here's my outro. Um, yeah, it's been doing fine. No problem there. Um, I haven't had any power outages yet to actually test it out for real, for real. I always think it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So let me know what you think about this video. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, like the video if you like it. If not, just dislike it. Any good feedback is feedback. I appreciate it all. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more content. Thanks.